Henri du Maupas de Tour, the funeral oration for Vincent de Paul, November 23, 1660. This groundbreaking study reveals the importance of the first public reflection upon Vincent de Paul after his death in September 1660. Maupas de Tour's funeral oration now takes its place as a cornerstone of Vincentian history. Maupas de Tour provided the foundation upon which Louis Abelie would base his full-scale biography of Monsieur Vincent. The author, Father Edward Udovic, speaks about his new book published by the Vincentian Studies Institute of DePaul University. 23 years ago, in the mail, I received the funeral homily given for St. Vincent by uh, Bishop Henri de Maupas de Tour. When I first read the text uh, so many years ago, it was clear to me that this was a vastly important document. In the course of the homily, Maupas de Tour makes a claim for Vincent, he all but changed the face of the Church of France. And just that one little quotation out of 67 pages made it into uh, into historiography. So it's really that first public expression of Vincent's reputation made at that significant moment when he passes from the scene. And as I studied the text more and more, it became clear to me that traditionally Vincentian historiography begins with the Louis Abelie biography, uh, which is published in 1664 and has never been out of print. We don't even know how many editions of it are out there. And it's clear that that biography is as big as it is because Abilie was commissioned to establish the full historical record of Vincent de Paul. And, and one of the reasons for that was to serve as the basis for an eventual canonization. But it's clear now from my research that Abilie stood on the shoulders of Maupas de Tour because everything that Abilie talks about at great length in three volumes and over a thousand pages Every single one of those themes which Abilie picks up are already present in the Maupas de Tour. And, and it also provides details that aren't anywhere else. The other piece, the most significant challenge was the annotation. It became clear to me that the most useful way to approach this document was not just to translate it, but again, to contextualize that. And the way you contextualize that is through annotation. After I had finished the uh, initial translation, and said, okay, let me see what, what it would look like to begin to annotate this. And remember, this is the pre-internet era, and one of the first footnotes I worked on took me two months to finish. But with the internet, we have the ability for the text to be fully and richly annotated at every single point. Uh, so as I said, almost every single sentence in that homily has at least one footnote uh, that either talks about people, places, events, concepts, or takes these and explains these direct quotations. But the, the other piece is, you know, that again, um, that wouldn't be enough. And so I decided that what was needed, so I, I wrote three introductory chapters. The first talks about who Henri de Maupas de Tour was and how he ended up giving the, the homily. And then the second is to analyze the homily itself you know, there's two main parts. The first part talks about St. Vincent's humility, and the second part talks about his charity. But then to analyze the broad themes, and sometimes the unique themes or points that Maupas de Tour actually talks about in the homily. During the third chapter, it says, okay, if indeed all of this public reflection on Vincent ultimately is about his canonization, and if we accept the premise that Abilly and Maupas de Tour, one of their aims was the eventual canonization, uh, then how did this reflecting on Vincent from even before he dies to the moment he dies to Abilie, how does that eventually lead in 1737 to his canonization? Over and above establishing this new marker in Vincentian historiography, Maupas de Tour really knew Vincent de Paul. And you get a sense of the person in a way that I don't believe you get in the same way in Abilie. Abilie is just so epic, and he concentrates so much on what Vincent did. Maupas de Tour does that too, but he does it in a much more compact form. So I found myself getting insights into Vincent the person. I'll put the halo aside for a while, and because uh, that, ha that halo isn't meaningful until you understand who the person was. 